Driving through traffic. Millens finds a seam to the near side. Millens in a foot race, and he is gone. Touchdown, Alabama. From the University of Alabama, this is the Mike DeBow Show, a complete look at Crimson Tide football. The Mike DeBow Show is brought to you by Coca-Cola, always Coca-Cola. By Cooper Tire, the world is your course. Drive on. By Great Southern Wood, makers of Osmo's Pressure Treated Pine. If it doesn't say Osmo's on the yellow tag, believe me, you don't want it. By the friendly folks of your neighborhood, Winn-Dixie. Stop by and see them while you're at the marketplace. By Allsport, the official body quencher of the Crimson Tide. By Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Alabama, reminding you to be careful, be safe. And by Golden Flake Snack Foods, the South's original potato chip. Now, the Paul W. Bryant Museum, here's Tom Roberts. Welcome to the Paul W. Bryant Museum on the campus of the University of Alabama. After a season opening loss by Alabama to UCLA, Coach Mike DuBose, a great trip out there, great surroundings until about 2.30 on Saturday afternoon when a very good UCLA football team came. It was a very good uh, UCLA football team and uh, just again, just amazed at our fans, the support we had out there and the enthusiasm and just real disappointed in the way we coached and the way we performed. Uh, uh, time, our fans deserve much better than what they got and they're gonna get much better than what they got. Let's take a look at the highlights of this one, Alabama against UCLA in the Rose Bowl, absolutely gorgeous setting at the foot of the San Gabriel Mountains. Alabama kicking off to start this football game against the UCLA Bruins, and Lane Bearden does a good job here. It, it was a beautiful setting. Lane does do a nice job kicking this ball in the end zone and gained some field position. We didn't kick the ball nearly as well later on, but uh, we started the game kicking the ball well and started the game playing defense good. Uh, you know, we, we, they tried to go deep on us early, and we had good coverage. Got some pressure on the quarterback, stopped the run right there, and forced them to punt the football and do a great job. Just uh, a great play that, that set the tempo for the game, or should have set the tempo for the game here by a great football player in Freddie Mellon. So if we uh, if we'll go block people and give him a chance, he'll do a lot of things like that throughout the season. Just a great play on Freddie's part. 71 yards on the front return. We're going to see it again. It's one of those that deserves a second look. Millen's, uh, for my money, the most exciting player in college football. No, no question. A great football player, and, and he loves to play the game. He practices um, Monday through Friday the way he tries to play on Saturday, and that's the reason he's a great football player. We've got some other young men that have got to learn the, the importance that we're going to end up playing on Saturday the way we practice. Gives Bama an early 7 to nothing lead in this football game. Well, Neil Thomas, Thomas did a nice job uh, kicking the football yesterday. I think he's going to be a really fine uh, kicker for us, a great addition to our football team. This is an area that we've got to work hard on, and we have worked hard on. We put a lot of time in kickoff coverage, more so this year than any other time. We see a lot of missed tackles, see a lot of people reaching, uh, running to and through the, uh, the target there. We, we've got to tackle much better, and that's my fault. This is very poor. Great execution as far as uh, UCLA in the short yardage situation. We get a defensive end that gets up the field, gets out of his lane, creates a cutback opportunity. Williams come back, and this is a nice play for the defense. It's, it's a great play over here by a right corner there on smoke, but uh, he gets cut, and it's an effort play. You don't sit there, he gets up off the ground and makes a tackle. The UCLA goes down nine minutes and six seconds, stopping at the goal line here. Marcus Spencer. Marcus, Marcus Spencer made a lot of plays. Safeties are making that many plays means we're not playing nearly as well up front as we need to. But Marcus has, uh, has had a good camp and is going to be a real fine player for us this, this year. Finally, the offense gets on the field for the first time with four and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. It was a great execution here of a deep comeback by Freddie trying to get the football in his hands. Thought Andrew did a nice job. It was a great throw on his part. Just didn't sustain anything offensively. The biggest disappointment throughout the, the game for me is I, I thought we would be able to score points offensively. I think we ended up scoring 10 offensive points throughout the game. We've got to be able to sustain it. We've got to be able to run the football and stop the run. I thought Lane Bearden did a nice job as far as punting the football throughout the game. We've got to speed up the process just a little bit. UCLA didn't come after it as hard as some other people come after it. So we've got to speed it up. I thought we did a nice job with it. Lane averaged 42 yards, by the way, in the game. 
Defensive football is sight, reaction, and then contact. We've got to do a better job seeing things and then do a better job with our footwork. We're getting ourselves out of position here. This is another great play on UCLA's part. Super execution, but very poor defensively for us. We do a poor job with our eyes, get lazy and complacent, don't finish the play. There, Freddie Mitchell made that play. Now here comes Bama's Freddie Millens with a good kickoff return. He's going to get some returns if people understand the importance of sustaining blocks and allowing him to crease, and he'll make something happen there. Well, at the end of the first quarter, your football team is down 14 to 7. Let's talk a minute about Freddie Millens. He winds up in this ball game with 189 yards total offense. And uh, he, he can do everything, can he? Well, he can do everything, but there's 10 other players out there that's yeah. got to play much better than what, what they played. Uh, if we get the other people playing at a high level and Freddie will continue to play at a high level, then we'll, we'll be a football team that can win football games instead of uh, coming back here and talking about one guy that has a great day and everybody else is ordinary. Well, let's go to the second quarter of this one at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. Starts out with a nice play by Andrew. Well, he, he makes a nice play. We don't block anybody. We don't we, we just go up there and leave her feet. Dustin doesn't block anybody. Nobody else blocks anybody. He makes a nice throw and the receiver makes a nice adjustment on it. Here's Lane it's punting again. I think Lane averaged uh, 42. Right, and this one's a 49 yard. This disappointed me right there. We've worked extremely hard on plus territory punting with our gunners outside. Herschel's got to find the flight of the football. We get the ball on the one. That's a that's a huge difference. Here's a nice play by Kenny Smith. We, could, we just got to get Kenny to make more of those plays. He's a football player. You win football games, the football players making plays. We got to make more like that. Kenny, uh, one of them is captains. The Bruins, though. They do, they, they do a great job, and we do a very poor job executing. We don't do a good job with the rise first, and we do a very poor job tackling and running to the football. Defensive football is progression of sight, reaction, and contact. Marcus Spencer, one of Marcus his nine make, tackles. Marcus making another play there. We've got to get people up front to get off blocks and, and make some plays. It's made this drive look easy. We go on top 21-7 to seven with a drive that goes 80 yards and Four minutes and 43 seconds, but here comes Bama right back. I thought we did a nice job at this point. Put them out in the game, and that's a nice cut. Blocked well at the point of attack and got some positive yards. Starting to establish a little something here and gain a little bit of momentum. It's a great play. Things we've got to find ways to get the ball to the tight end way. I've said that and don't continue to say it, but we've got to call things offensively that'll get the ball to the tight end position. I think that's the only catch of the day for uh, Terry, and we've got to involve the tight ends more. 27 yards on that play. And here's Ahmad coming out of back. It's a nice field. job by Andrew. We got we got to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Nice job running with the football after the catch by Ahmad. Here comes a big third down play. Just got to sustain. Go make that block, AC. Don't, don't be a spectator. Go make that block. We got a chance to turn it into a big play. But a great player making a big play for us in Freddie Mullins. Here comes Galloway again, one of his 11 carries for 41 yards. I thought he was going to score right here. He's, he's got to keep that football in bounds. We've got to get it in the end zone. But again, it was, it, that play was well blocked at the point of attack. I thought Dustin McClintock did a, a nice job. This one didn't go as planned, no, but it gets a touchdown. No. Andrew's got to be sharper than he was uh, yesterday. He went the wrong way, but then he had enough presence of mind to get the football back to Amide. Again, I thought Amide gave us a spark in that drive, and he'll be the starting tailback uh, next week for us. Neil Thomas kicks the extra point, and Bama's cut it to a touchdown at 21 to 14. And your defense comes out and really does a job on this one. I thought we were gaining some momentum here. I thought we, were, you know, getting back in the in, into the game. We played so poorly. Here we are. We're going to go in at halftime. I think only down by four points. That's right. Bama with the football back and. This is the longest play of the day, 56 yards with Jason McCaffrey. I thought Jason was going to uh, score here. He's, he's got tremendous speed. Obviously, this guy from UCLA, this corner, backside corner running down, has got tremendous speed. But I thought when he got in the open field that Jason's going to score there. But offensively, when we get it there, we got to put the football in the end zone. Mod again, this time for five. But they, uh, they sacked Andrew. You have to settle can't, for the field goal. Can't, can't give up a sack in the red zone. We, we've worked on it. We've talked on it. Ball's got to come out of there. If it doesn't come out, uh, throw the thing away with it. it. Cannot take sacks in the red zone. Nice yeah. job, though, by Neil Thomas kicking the field goal. Well, let's take a look at the second half highlights as we go back to the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. UCLA kicking off to the Crimson Tide. And this started out to be a great play. We, we got field position. We 
Ball's in the uh, playmaker's hand, Freddie's hands. We've got field position there. Got a penalty, got a holding call on us, and we'll back it up. And, and we simply don't execute on the, on the blitz there. Blitz that we worked on probably 200 times uh, in practice, and we just simply don't execute it and let them get penetration. We lose field position. And this is punting for one of those dangerous spots in the field. It's a dangerous spot. The first job there is to get the ball out of there because they're uh, not operating with as much uh, space as you normally are. We get, a, we get a break there. We get a roll off of it. Get a good bounce, and then the here's defense. Where we, here's where we got to come back. Got to play defense and take football away. Got to, there's going to be five or six plays. It's the difference in winning and losing football games. When we have an opportunity to make a play, then we have to make it. We had some opportunities. Got nice pressure right there. I, I cannot believe that they didn't call that a fun. Yeah, nice. That's uh, one of those things. One of we still got to go back and we got to continue to play. And here comes Freddie again with the punt return. Just makes things happen. He does. Okay. Our, our front, our front people has got to hold up people. Though. we got too many people standing around watching. If they want to stand and watch them, they need to buy tickets. Uh. And then we have the uh, exchange of interception. Got his arm hit. Just he he got his arm hit. This is very poor from a protection standpoint. The back didn't stay with the block there. And we also got to see. Uh, I thought one of the poor things we did is recognizing blitz. And when you got a play action pass and you know they're blitzing, and the, the, the play fake doesn't do you any good. Here's another, another missed opportunity. We got we got to come up with a football. We we worked it. We got to be able to scoop and score with it. If it's a defense lineman, he doesn't think he can he can scoop it up, and he's he's got to gain possession of it. We got to recover the football. And here comes a big one. This was a great execution, but this was a great call on uh, on Ellis Johnson's part. Ellis called it on the sideline. Mm -hmm. He said, if he, if he executed, it'll be a touchdown for us. It was a great call on Reggie, but the thing that's disappointing, we got to quit doing all that finger pointing. All we got ten other guys that help to make a play. We got a coach who called a great play over there and could call an attention to yourself and be a football team. Yeah. I do. In light of what you say, we are going to watch it again. As you say, he made the perfect call. He makes a perfect play. It's it's a perfect call and it's the execution of it. But we don't need all this other stuff. 91 yards on the uh, interception return gets you within four at 24 to 20. We're very fortunate that they didn't call a penalty right there. Should have been a penalty. Should have lost field position on the kickoff. You got a good kick combination here. Brad Ledbetter snapping it. Jonathan Ritchie holding it. And then Neil Thomas kicks it through. I do think we have a good combination there. I think, uh, you know, we worked that uh, trio enough, and I think they feel comfortable with each other. So you cut it to three, and then here come the Bruins yeah. right now. Yeah, we actually go up by three, and then we just, That's again, right. we, don't, we don't execute right there. It starts with your eyes and we're looking at things we're not supposed to look at. We bite on the play action fake when we're in man coverage and, and we don't protect the football. We got, is, a, we got to hold on to the football. This is a play where Andrew Zow gets uh, his bell rung pretty good. And he's got a concussion from this point. We end up taking him out. Uh, it's a nice play by Kenny Smith. You got to get some other people coming to the party with him. I see Kenny making some plays, but he's always seems to be by himself. We got 10 other guys that got to come to the football. But after your defense holds them here, Tyler watching the ball game now. Great, great job by uh, Freddie right here, but again, we've got to protect the football. Gets 11, but uh, the Bruins get the football. Got to protect the football. And very quickly, they score another one. And very poor tackle. You see a lot of people leave, leaving their feet, not running to and through the target. So it's 35 to 24 at this point. Let's talk about the two quarterbacks. Neither had a gr particularly great day. You'd planned to play Tyler some anyway. I planned you? to play Tyler in the first half. Uh, but we didn't have the football enough times right. to get him in. And then uh, had made the decision uh, when we put him in it, we were going with him ahead of time. And then also found out at that same time that Andrew had a slight concussion. So we left him in a little longer than we had uh, planned to because of the concussion. But once uh, Andrew was cleared, then we put Andrew back in the game. Like when it's fourth and long, and you have to go for it. Or when you need a touchdown to win the game. Or when it's crunch time, it's Golden Flake. Golden Flake, the South's original potato chip. When it's crunch time, it's Golden Flake. Well, we're very, we're very, very fortunate. We laid the ball on the ground way too many times. Tyler again. It's a nice job by Sam Collins. Good catch. 
saw Sam's grandfather. We've got to get our backs to run like their backs are running, and then we've got to get our backs to hold on to the football. I didn't see their backs going down when one guy hit them like ours went down yesterday. This is a quarter where neither team is able to score, and uh, unfortunately, they they just keep doing the job defensively again. They, well, they did the job defensively, and they were still able to run the football and control it uh, offensively. Tyler trying to make some plays. He winds up in the football game, uh, picking up 42 yards on the ground and five carries. There's a guy that we've got to we've got to make sure we got our best 11 defensive players on the field, and I'm not sure that Aries Monroe shouldn't be one of those those 11 there. There's, Kenny there's, King. there's Kenny King. We've got to call Kenny's name more often than we did yesterday. And we're back in the football game now. Got to go get the first down. Got to go get the first down. Time running out. And we got to get the first down, get the ball out of bounds. Didn't execute the two minute situation as, as well as we should have with the amount of work that we've had on it. We wind up losing 35 to 24. Quick word about injuries. Uh, any major injuries in this? No, football? no. From an injury standpoint, we came out of it uh, fairly healthy. Uh, Andrew was banged up a little bit with a, with a concussion, and his ankle was bothering him when he got off the plane. He didn't remember hurting the ankle, but I think he'll be fine uh, as far as preparation Monday. Uh, obviously, we, we know a lot more about our football team right now than we did going out. We don't like what we know. We know a lot more about it, so we, we got to go to work on Monday and do put the pads back on and uh, see if we can block and tackle better than we uh, did yesterday. All right, coming back, we're going to talk about the start of the SEC season. <laughs> 